Hello, what's up y'all, it's D-Boy. Welcome back to another video. We're gonna design Y2K art that you'll be able to use on some Y2K inspired graphics and logos. This tutorial will be mainly on Illustrator, but before we jump on, uh, just make sure if you like this type of content, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment. I hope y'all enjoy this one. Thank you for watching this video. Let's jump right in. So what we're gonna do is uh, start from the top and uh, work our way down this page. So I have these that I made for this video, and I also have this up here uh, to use for uh, reference. This is actually art from a Y2K pack that I worked on with uh, Fuller Mo, which is available now. If you want to go check it out, go to fullermo.com and look up uh, Y2K Rave Pack. So here we go. We're going to start here with the first one, which is this shape right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste it over here. I'm just kind of going to work on this section right here. This one is pretty simple. Go to your shape tools, uh, drag out a rectangle like that, right? Copy and paste, Command C, Command F, copy and paste the front. I mean, drag that top shape uh, down like this, slide it over till it snaps like that. Then you want to select this shape right here, Command C, Command V to copy and paste it. And you want to take this other one and just snap it to like it looks like something like this so you want to select both you want to go to your pathfinder tool and you want to hit the first button which is the unite button tap on that bam so it'll turn it into one shape all right make sure this is selected you want to go here to your it's usually set on a uh, skill tool so you want to go in your skill tool and just click on it and hold it down and this drop menu will show up you want to go to share and then you want to click and drag to the right holding shift Nice and sheared like that. Okay, I'm gonna select this shape, right? You wanna go to direct selection tool, which is the white arrow right here. Make sure it's selected. And you're gonna see this little thing right here, this little node right here. So what you wanna do is you wanna click and drag out like that to round the edges. You can go super far and like get these super rounded edges, but I kinda of wanna have it like right here in the middle, like that, bam. Now you wanna select this shape. You want to hold down option and drag to the right like that to make a copy holding down shift and option at the same time actually until you get something like that select both and group command g you see how i have these like hard edges right here and i have these round these are rounded uh this simple fix uh just select both shift e will bring up the eraser tool hold shift and drag across to the right like that Actually, I want to go down lower, shift, drag across like that, boom. Then I want to do the same thing to the bottom, shift, drag across, boom, that's the eraser tool. Get rid of this, you don't need that. And there you go, bam. I'm gonna delete that, bring that to the bottom. All right, now we're gonna do this thing right here. Let's go to the shapes, uh, drag out an ellipse, circle like this, hit Command C, Command F, scale down that top layer that you want to drag to the right to the snaps and you want to kind of go over just a little bit like that select it select both it looks like something like this all right so you want to go to your blend tool which is right here double tap that make sure it's on specific steps four is okay hit okay you want to take this point hold shift take this point and then connect this point right here deselect Select it again, go to option, expand. Make sure object and fill are checked. Expand it, hit OK, and you get something like this. So now you want to bring up your shape builder tool. Make sure it's selected. Shift M brings up your shape builder tool, which is this right here. Hold down option, and what I, holding down option does, it gives you like a little minus. You see the plus and the minus on the arrow? It gives you a minus. So drag over with your Wacom pen or your mouse and get rid of that right there. And then you wanna skip over this, right? What it's doing is highlighting the shape and get rid of. So I wanna skip this part and then like, just get rid of this, like click on that and then holding the option, click on this and you get that. Fairly simple. It's not this exactly the same, but put this to the side and get rid of this right here. I wanna move on. Let's do this thing right here, this ring. I'm gonna save the stars for the end because they 
uh, they tend to be a little bit more uh, trickier to do. All right, let's get this ring thing going right here. So if you want something like this, right? Easy, uh, like an oval like this, right? You want to Command C, Command F, paste the front. Then you want to hold Shift and scale down that top shape. You want to bring it over to something like this. But what you're doing with the top shape is uh, scaling it till you get something like like that. So I'm holding out Option and just bringing out the edges like this for this one. So I want the, the sides to be thin and then the D sides to be a little bit thicker. So I'm holding out Option and just dragging it, clicking and dragging over like that. Select both, right? Shift M, Shape Builder Tool, highlight the part you don't want, hold down Option, click on it, bam, gone. So now I wanna share this. So go back to your share tool, go down Shift, go to the right, and you see it'll give you like this nice little share. Not the same, but close, that's how you do it, bam. So you wanna do that, and I wanna keep that right here. Delete, delete. And this one, you see this right here? We already got the shape. So you want to drag this one out, right? You want to copy, Command C, Command F, and paste the front. You want to select that shape and rotate it to look something like that. Good money. Now you want to group that and bring it down here, man. Boom. All right, this bad boy right here, right? Uh, it's like a sunflower or some shit. I don't, I don't even know. But simple. It's one shape. It's that shape right there. How do you make that shape? Circle, right? Like that. You wanna take one of these points right here. So I wanna pick this one side with my direct select tool, hit that one point right there, drag it down like that, right? So you get something like that. You wanna convert this right here to a hard point. So you go up here and you see this little thing that says convert selected anchor points to corner. So this is rounding and this is to make it a point. So you wanna hit on that and it'll give you like this teardrop look. All right, let me delete that real quick. So now you wanna select this, right? Hit R on your keyboard. You wanna hold down option and click right about here, right up under that. Your rotate uh, panel should show up. I wanna do like a, maybe it's a 35 degree angle. Make sure it's on preview so you can see what's going on. Actually, let me see something, hold up. Is it 35? It might be 45, I don't know. Yeah, 45 is good. So make sure preview's on, you hit copy, right? And now you wanna hit Command D. I'm gonna zoom out real quick, Command D. A couple times until it connects. Boom. There you go. I have like this rounded, so that's easy. Make sure you're on your direct selection tool. See these little things right here, round the edges. Just click and drag out like that. And there you go. Delete that. That's another. Sh oh, let me just group it. Command G. Group. Oh, snap. And drag it down. Sorry. Right. We rocking and rolling. All right, this one right here. Okay. I, I don't even know if I remember how to do that. All right. Um, you know what? Let me bring it out. All right, let's see. If it's, maybe it's a hold down shift, drag out a square, right? make a copy of that. Select both of these, uh, hold down option, drag out to make a copy of that. And so like, we wanna have it like overlap, like something like this on all sides. Uh, it's a little off, but this is how you fix it. Group this, Command G, and group these two, Command G. And you will select all, go to your Align tool, and Align Center, center like that. Select all, go to Unite, click on that, and then you wanna to go to Direct Selection tool. You get these things around the edges again. Boom, select it, hold down Option, drag to the right, holding down Option, and connect these two like that. 
and make a better overlap. There you go, like that. Select both, Command G, or Unite, Pathfinder 2, Unite into one shape, All right? And now I'm gonna go back to my Shear tool, go down Shift, drag to the right, bam. Maybe make it just a tad tighter like that. Easy peasy. I'm gonna give it a stroke. So how I do that, make sure it's selected. Give it a red stroke just so I can see what I'm doing. Give that stroke like a five maybe. And now I wanna select this again, copy and paste it back. Command C, Command B. I wanna make sure it's an all, like the stroke is black on that shape behind it. I'm gonna bring that up to like 20, right? Deselect, now select again, select all, object, path, outline stroke. And now I'm gonna select it all again from my pathfinders and go to divide, which is the first one right here at the bottom. Hit that with my direct selection tool. I wanna select that red stroke, right? I'm gonna go to select, same, fill color, and I'll hit delete. So that's how you do that one. Let me bring it down and bring it over here and get rid of that. This one right here looks a little difficult, but it really isn't. So first I wanna get this shape right here, right? Go to my ellipse tool, drag it out like that, bam. Select it, Command C, Command F, copy front, hold down option, click one of the sides, drag it out like this, right? And hold down option and drag out the top, like just like that, right? Select both Shift M, Shape Builder tool, hold down option and drag out the shapes you don't want. And you get that. Command G to group, right? And you Command C, Command F. Then you want to scale it down, holding Shift and Option, just to keep it proportioned, scaling it down to like right about here, right? Select both. Blend tool. Specific steps. Four is good. Hit OK. I want to tap on this point right here, holding down Shift, and tap on this point right here, holding down Shift to uh, blend both shapes. And there you go. That's how you do that. And if you want more spacing, all you gotta do is uh, just, uh, I think I might have did a little bit too much on the blending, so that's easy to fix. Select that shape, go back to the blend, double click on the blend tool, and just bring it down to three and hit okay, all right? I mean, it's, it's close. What I do, I, I like to smash it just a little bit like that. Just bring it down and smash it like that. You know, you just gotta mess with it. All right, bring this down to like right here. All right, um, all right, this right here, man. Again, it's like just it's like making this one right here. I uh, drag out an oval like that. Command C, Command F, right? Drag out the sides, hold down Option, drag out the sides to about this thickness right here, and then I'm gonna drag out this. Make sure you're on the selection tool, Option. Holding that option, drag out like that. Just because I want just this right here, these parts right here. Select both Shift M, Shape Builder tool out the way. Select both, group, group both of those. Command G, Share. Go to Share tool and drag out like that. Bam, money. Share tool, drag out, holding Shift and bring that bad boy down here. We're going right through these joints. All right, what's next, what's next? Heart. Let's make a heart, all right. Let me drag out the heart, bam, like that. Just so we have, have them to look at, to refer to. All right, heart. Circle, drag it out. Now drag out a square. What you want to do is, it's like, oh, more like a rectangle. So rectangle to like a right about, like right here. Right, so you got this going on, connecting the circle and the rectangle to get that. Now you're gonna uh, rotate, hold shift, and it'll snap, just rotate to the right a little bit. Bam, it'll snap, select that. Go down option, drag out, hit O on the keyboard and return twice. It'll reflect it, 
So the quick command is O and return twice. And it'll reflect it for you just like that. And what I'm gonna do is connect these two pieces right here, right? Like that, bam, there goes your heart. Select all, unite it, go to Pathfinder and unite. So good with that. And I'm gonna drag out another one just to keep her here, but I'm gonna give this a stroke, make it red. Same thing we did last time, give it a red stroke. Give it like five points, right? And then you wanna select Command C, Command B, center back, make that stroke black. And you wanna bump it up to like 10 maybe, or maybe 15. Select both, go to object, path, find, I mean, go to path, outline stroke. We're gonna do this different this time. So select both, Shift M, Shape Builder tool. Once you get, once you get used to using the Shape Builder tool, man, you're gonna use it for like, for everything. So hold down option, get rid of the shapes and click on the shapes that I don't want. Here's my heart. Select this heart. I'm gonna make it the same color as the background. So I'm gonna drop the background like that. I got that right here. And I'm gonna give it a black stroke. Make sure it's black. I'm gonna align my stroke to inside. Give it like a six point. I'll give it like a five. Make sure that's black again. Hit okay. Command C, Command B, send it back. With the down arrow key, just go down and then go to the right until it connects like something like this to like these two parts align. Make sure you fill that with black. And there you go. Simple. All right, so I got my hearts right there. Money. Let's go. Let's keep going. Got some hearts right there. Okay. Okay. All right. What are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do now? Okay. Star, simple, get this star right here, right? Right here on your shape tool, go to star tool, drag out a star, hold down option and sh shift actually to give you a proportionate star like that five point star. And then I wanna give it a stroke of about maybe like 10, right? Select that, go to the shear, shear to the right, hold shift, and shear to the right like that. Now go to your selection tool uh, and stretch it out just a little bit like that. All right, so now select that, copy, Command C, Command B, send it back, make it a black fill and a black stroke. Hit the down arrow key on your keyboard and then hit the right arrow key on the keyboard to like you get something like right here connecting. I went over too far. That's good. Group these, Command G, bring it down. Oh, let's do this, man. All right? Look, go to the ellipse tool, drag out no rule. Like that, All right? Get rid of the fill. Bump up the stroke. I Man, it's too much. Bump up the stroke to like seven or whatever is good for you. Command C, Command F again. Hold down option. Drag out. See, I'm trying to get this right here. So that's good. Command C, Command F. Again, put an option. I need something like, like right about, right about here maybe, right? All right, so now I wanna get these two right here blended. So I wanna select both of these shapes, go to my blend tool, double tap that. And I think I wanna hit it with a two piece. Hit okay, make sure you, Hold shift and click on this point and this point to blend. Got a nice little blend going right there. So I need this right here. I need to draw out a line like in the center like that. So that's pen tool, right? Make sure the black, there's a black stroke, no fill. Click here, hold down shift, click there. Bam, I need three strokes going across. All right, so click here, hold down shift, click on the other side. Same thing right here, click here. Hold down shift, click on the other side. Now I need one in the middle right here. Make sure you got your pen tool selected. Hold down shift, click here, click on the other side. Boom. Globe status, let's go. Maybe these gaps need to be a little bit more even out. So I just wanna select these two points right here. Hold down option and just drag out just a little bit more like that. Get it more even out. 
Got my globe. Got my globe, bruh. Yeah, let's go. Globe. Command G. Get rid of that. Bam. All right, let's get busy with the stars, man. Let's get busy with the stuff. The stars, man. Let's go. Let's start with this one. This multi-point star. That right there. Let's go in the star tool, right? Let me drag it out for our reference right there. Star. Drag it out. Keep it selected, right? So now with the up and down arrow key on your keyboard, if you hit the up arrow key, it'll give you more points on your star. If you go down, it'll give you less points on your star. I want multiple points. So that, I don't know how many points that are references, but I'm just gonna blast off into like, give it like mad points. All right, so you see how like the center is like really big and our reference is like, the, the center is like smaller. Hold down command and drag out like, like that. And we drag out and make the center smaller like that that's good i gave it more points but that's how you do that it's going to be the same for this right here the only difference is that when you drag out a star right and you hold down command you just got to make sure you drag inward like that you can't really see what's going on now but i gotta zoom out and right so you drag out a star right and you hold command when you drag out the middle gets smaller and we drag inward the middle gets bigger so we want something like right about here right that looks good select that let me get rid of this one and i want to go to object go to transform and reset bounding box so it'll give me a nice clean reset to scale a little bit better i'm going to smash it like this right just distort it just like something like right here and then I'm going to uh, drag it over to the right like that to distort it a bit you know until it feels right I think that's good right there bam pretty close that's how we do that one money let's let's keep going let's keep going let's keep going what can we do what else what else what else let's drag this out these are the same so I'm just going to show you how to do this one it's pretty much the same I just gave this one a sheer and made the points a little bit like uh, sharper, but it's the same concept. Go to your shapes, uh, ellipse, hold shift, drag out a circle, select that, effects, go to uh, distort and transform, pucker and bloat, slide to the left. Um, obviously the more you slide to the left, the sharper the edges get. So I'm comfy with like 89, negative 89, cool option drag out another one scale it down holding shift right and then same thing option drag out another one holding shift bam select all shear click and drag holding shift bam dog easy just show you how to do that so it's the same concept with this look you drag out a circle right go to effect this door and transform Pucker and bloat. Slide to the left. Just keep it a little thicker. Like, don't go too crazy. Like, even that's dope. Even that's dope. But, like, go right about here. It's a thicker start. Like, give it a negative 65% on that bad boy. Hit OK. Hold now. Option. Drag out another one. Scale it down with shift. Option. Drag out another one. Boom. There you go. There you go. You're starting. Man. We rolling. We rolling. We rolling. So this thing right here, it's just bringing this up. And now you could like create stuff. Now you can like experiment with these shapes, man. Huh? Right? I'm gonna bring down, bring up this right here. Give it a stroke. Make it a stroke. Actually, give it the color of the background. So I drop the background. Now I'm gonna give it a stroke, black stroke. Bump it up like that. Right? Scale it down. And bring down a stroke. It's too too thick. Bam, there you go, man. Oh yeah. So now let's work our way over to this one. I'm gonna drag this one out. Show you how to do this one. Alright, let's go. Uh we're gonna drag out a star for this one. 
drag out star, hold down command and shift, right? While having the star active, I wanna hit the down key on the keyboard. Wow, one, two, ah, too much. See, ah, what's going on? I just need four points, man. All right, let me just try to get this, man. Damn, come on. There you go, shoot, took forever. All right, I wanna hold shift and command and drag out so I get something like this, right? I'm gonna let that go, right? I'm gonna bring it down a little bit, scale it down. I wanna copy it and paste it in front, so it's command C, command F, paste it in front. Okay, I wanna take that top layer and rotate clockwise like this, hold shift, command G to group it. And you can also just go to make it one shape, go to Pathfinder and hit the Unite tool first button right there, bam. All right, so I wanna grab one of these points, right? With this direct selection tool, the white arrow, grab one point and just drag it out like this. All right, bam. Then you can mess around with this, like, you know, you do something like that, right? Uh, that's how you do that one, all right? All right, what's the next one? What's the next one? What's the next one, bro? Did we do those? All right, we did that. Um, this one is the same thing. So all you gotta do is just drag out another star like that. Boom. All right, so then you wanna grab one piece and then drag it down so you have something like a cross or something like that. I think that's kind of dope, cool. And it's dope when you do it like this, kind of sick. All right, check it out. This thing right here, all right? It's actually this, man. Let me drag out another one. Here you go. Drag out a star, right? It's actually this, just giving it a stroke, like stroke. Give it a stroke, round the edges right here. Hit these two, the round cap and round join on your stroke. Just make sure that's selected like that. And I'm gonna bump up the stroke, right? To like six is cool. Right? All right, bam. So there you go, you got something like that. Killer, killer. Let's move this bad boy to the side. What else do we miss? This thing right here, man. Like, I, um, yeah, let's let's do that. Here you go. Drag out a star. Oops. I'm gonna have to adjust the star again with the down arrow key, up arrow key while it's selected. So I get a five point star. This is always tricky. Like, damn, the buttons are so sensitive. There you go. Hold command and, and drag inward, holding shift. Right, so I get a star that forms like this, like a regular star. Then I wanna scale that up real quick, right? I don't wanna make that fill. I don't want no stroke on that. All right, so, and then to get this part right here, to get this part right here, um, I'm gonna do a couple things. All right, let's drag out an ellipse, right? Command C to copy, Command F, paste in front, hold down Shift, right? and scale down that top shape right there until you start to see something like right here. This is what we want right here. And I wanna cut it off like right, right there. So I'm gonna use a rectangle and drag it out like that. So what, what what's cool about the shape builder tool is that you can use like multiple shapes and like overlap just to get one shape. Like if you look at what you're trying to get, like, it's, like if you select all the shapes here, this is all I want right here. This part right here, right? Maybe I'm gonna have to drag this up a little bit more, but like all I want, select all the shapes. All I want is this thing right here, right? That comes out like this, like right here to here. So in, in order to get rid of all the excess stuff right here, I'm gonna use the shape builder tool, shift M and then hold down option. And that'll just like get rid of stuff. Like just hover over the shapes and click on it and it'll get rid of it like that. Money, I don't know why there's a stroke on it. All right, so this is what I want right here. So I'm gonna unite this right here, the Pathfinder. And I'm gonna start playing around with it. Now you just gotta like kinda position it. I'm gonna make my star like that. All right, let's see how I can make this work. Yeah, yeah. 
kind of cheese ballish. You got to play with it a little bit just to get it right. But that's how you do it. That's how you do it. You just got to spend a little bit more time on it and just get it right. Uh, yeah, that's kind of, that's horrible, but whatever. So I just want to move on, man. I want to keep rocking. All right, cool. Yeah, I mean, that's shit. I think I just, that's it? Bro, that's it. Well, this star right here, right? Right? Drag this thing out. Right? Make it bigger. Uh, go to your shapes and then drag out a star. And now you want to select that star. You want to select it with the direct selection tool, right? So you see those little things come up. That's to round the edges. So you just select one of those little nodes and drag down and get it the way you want it. So that I think I'm cool with this right here. Sweet. This shape right here, we already did that thing. Um, and it's this one right here. You do this, right? Rotate that bad boy like that. I bring it over and yo, just bring it down a little bit like that. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. You gotta mess around with it. I mean, right? I don't know. Shoot. You do it how you want to do it, bro. Do it how you want to do it, man. And I think we just went right through these joints. Um, this right here. I'm gonna show you how a lot of people don't really know how to like bring this thing up. The registered symbol is easy. Go to your type, drag out text like that. Let me bump this up a little bit. You wanna hold down option and hit R on the keyboard, bring up that symbol. And now you can go through your fonts and find the right one. I thought, oh, Helvetica was the one I used. I mean, classic, why not? Boom, yeah, let's do this, uh, bold, yeah. So there you go, that's how you do it. And then also, I just wanna, bonus, here you go, bonus, man, here you go, bonus. The trademark symbol, right? Select your type, option, and two on the keyboard. Bam, trademark. That's a bonus for y'all, there. Let's go. Now what we're gonna do is build a Y2K graphic off of these elements we just made. So let's move this over to the side. Let's go move these bad boys over here and this over here. So I could bring up this pre-made type I made for this video. Let me unlock that. Let me hide this right here. Very simple uh, text. I might make another video and show you how to create some type like this, but the whole purpose of this video was to show you how to make these elements. So then when you create type, right? When you create type, you could do stuff like, yo, you could do stuff like this, man. You start applying your elements to this. Oh, crap. Let me bring this forward, All right? Just like this, man. Just like this. Let me bring this ray and make this smaller. Let me bring this thing. Actually, let me bring this thing over here that we made. Oh, look at that. This is official, man. Let me bring the text up like that, bam. All right, that looks kind of cool. Let me bring these stars down a little bit to make it look right. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, bro, let me bump up the stroke, man. Bump up the dang strokes. That's looking good. Let's go extra, man. I think I did something like this, All right? Something like this. I'm gonna drag this thing out all the way over here like that. Right? So I could do something like uh oh. Let me make this shorter. So I did something like this. Got that, right? Uh command C, command B to send the back a copy of this shape. Uh, and I sent it to back. So I'm just gonna eye drop the background. Make sure that I'm on my selection tool and I want to drag down, right? Oh, it's not showing up, hold on. I gotta bring this forward. Boom, like that. Bad, bad. All right, cool, man, whatever. Look, 
There you go. Have fun, man. Go nuts with this joint. Look, we could add these little stars here too. Bring that up like that. Bro, I don't even know, man. Just do whatever y'all want to do, man. You heard? Go, go crazy, man. Have fun with it. Enjoy these, man. Enjoy these. You can do so many things with this, man. That's cool. All right, let's bring some of these things over here like that. You know, I'm just showing you like this. Again, this video was just show you how to how to like make the elements. You know. All right, let me go back to where I had it. We do something like that. Uh, look at that. Look at that, man. I mean, there you go. You have some type, and then you just start building around it, man. So go check out my Y2K pack uh, with Fullermo at fullermo.com. I'll leave all the information down below for sure. Go check it out. I definitely want to see what y'all come up with uh, using these packs. I appreciate y'all once again. I hope y'all learned something. So I think that's it for this video. I mean, these designs could be better, but hey, y'all get it, man. This, These are the ones I did, as you can see. Yeah, so pretty similar. Cool stuff, Y2K graphics, Y2K style elements. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out, peace. Thank you for watching this video. Again, if you wanna hit that sub button, make sure you do. And before I leave, I wanna let y'all know about Merch Gods. Merch Gods is a Discord community. Me and a couple other super dope designers in the music industry, and they're literally dropping gems. So. If you want to check me out, I'm going to leave that link below. Hope to see y'all there. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.